button no longer will be like, hold it and it buzzes, let off. If it doesn't buzz, it'll be click mm -hmm. on. My name is Marianne Nedberg. I'm the prop director for Center Theater Group. The prop director is the head of the prop department. I facilitate all the shows. I manage all the staff. I do calendars. I go to lots of meetings. I budget. Sometimes I'm fortunate enough that I get to build stuff for shows when they need me to, and occasionally I prop master. Usually we start pretty early. We start about 8 a.m. The reason is, is because we want to have a few hours before rehearsals start. Um, if we're not as busy, I'll go around individually to my staff and check in. What are you doing today? What can I help you with? What do you need? Uh, and then depending on what is needed, that might dictate the day a little bit. Some days that might be sewing, some days that might be carpentry, and some days that might be dealing with our inventory. You got to have a lot of skills. You need to be able to do carpentry, even if it's basic, uh, sewing, painting, crafting, casting and molding. Sometimes we're asked to do electronics. Uh, so you have to be willing to learn if you don't already know all the skills. And also you have to um, let go of things because sometimes you work on a project for 80 hours and then they cut it. And you have to be able to be like, all right, well, for the better of the show. Uh, so I find that most prop people are pretty laid back. That's kind of, you know, what you need to be able to do to be a prop person. Once I got to college, uh, I went to Southern Utah University, and so I took every theater class that I possibly could take. And the technical director um, at the time noticed that I had a lot of skills, and he kind of took me under his wing. And from there, I just did props. Like, that was, that was the thing. And, um, decided when I graduated from undergrad that I wanted to continue that education and so I went on to get uh, an MFA at CalArts in props. You don't need it for sure but I felt personally that I wanted to be able to have uh, the opportunity to teach at a university if I wanted and it also just gave me a few more years of honing my skills and getting my craft down. Props are not supposed to be noticed. That's if you've done a really good job with props, nobody notices your prop. And I tell you what, it's one of the most amazing moments when you work really hard to build something or you find the perfect thing and you put it on stage and it's so perfect that nobody even notices it and that's probably the best part of my job. Keep learning, keep trying, keep going, keep honing your craft. The more skills you have, the more viable you are to this profession and there's always a home for you in theater. Even if it's not the acting that you thought it would be or the design that you thought it would be or whatever, there's, there's always home for people in theater and uh, I would strongly encourage you to just get out there and try all the things. <laughs>